Heathrow is the world's busiest international airport. It handles 1,300 flights a day. So how do you keep those flights moving when there's snow and ice on the ground? Now, when the snow really starts to fall, these are Heathrow's heavy-duty pieces of kit. They've got 10 of these. They cost the best part of £200,000 each, so that's nearly £2 million worth. And when the snow's a bit lighter, they use these brushes. They're carried behind the cab, and they rotate and clear the snow out of the way. And what they do is carry seven or so of these in a formation, a bit like birds in the sky that you see flying. So you've got one at the front, then two behind that, two behind, two behind and then that funnels the snow out towards the edge of the runway. But if the snow is too heavy, of course, then you need something better. So that is where this comes in, the plough. We're now on board with one of the runway inspection teams. They've got a three minute window where they can check the runway. The planes are on hold from taking off or landing whilst they do that. Now today, they're looking for foreign object debris, basically rubbish which is on the runway and could be dangerous to aircraft which are taking off or landing. But when there's snow and ice, they also come out and do these sort of inspections to check the conditions and they've got specialist equipment which they can use to see how much grip is actually available. This is one of the vehicles in the snow team's arsenal that travels up and down the taxiways and the runways here at Heathrow, spraying the anti-icer onto the surface as it's doing at the moment and that prevents any water that's on the ground from freezing for up to 24 hours and keeps the runway safe. 